Hello and welcome to Issin Clay. Today I will be briefly covering an article published in the Journal of Archaeological Science. The article concerns drug use in the Incan Kapokocha rituals conducted in the decades either side of 1500 CE. These rituals involved the sacrifice of children. This video will be based on an article from the Archaeology News Network which is based on the original article in the Journal of Archaeological Science. The human sacrifice, typically of children known as Capo Cocha, was generally conducted in Incan society to celebrate major events like the birth of a royal or a battle victory, said the international team of scientists, including those from Peru, Poland and the US. In the study published recently in the Journal of Archaeological Science, researchers conducted toxicological analysis of two individuals, aged 6 or 7, who were immolated over 500 years ago during a Capococcia ritual on the mountain of Ampato in southern Peru. In the hair and nail samples of the Incan mummies, scientists looked for the presence of intoxicating chemicals like cocaine and its breakdown products in the body such as benzoyl, Icogenin and coca -ethylene. They also looked for other intoxicating hallucinogenic chemicals like mescaline, tryptamine, hermaline, and harmine, which have psychoactive properties. Archaeologists found that during the last weeks of the victims' lives they chewed on coca leaves and were intoxicated by ayahuasca a beverage made primarily from the South American hallucinogenic flowering vine, the age. The effects of chewing coca leaves are you become mildly stimulated, almost like a cup of coffee. Coca may also suppress hunger, thirst, pain, fatigue, and altitude sickness. Ayahuasca is a plant-based psychedelic. Psychedelics affect all the senses, altering a person's thinking, sense of time and emotions. They can cause a person to hallucinate, seeing or hearing things that do not exist or are distorted. Researchers suspect that the Incas may have consciously used the antidepressant properties of Bernisteriopsis capi to reduce the anxiety and depressive states of the victims. That's the uh, ayahuasca. They said the children likely knew what was going to happen to them weeks in advance and may not have gone along willingly. Scientists also suspected that while the drugs identified in the study may not have resulted in hallucinations, they could have calmed the children and made it easier for them to carry out the ritual. In another study published in 2013, in the journal PNAS, scientists analysed the diet of a 13-year-old Incan girl who was also ritually sacrificed over five centuries ago in a mountainous area of modern Argentina. They found that they had consumed considerable quantities of the mild Andean stimulant coca, as well as alcohol. Researchers said her consumption rose temporarily six months before her sacrifice, likely at some major Inca ceremony. Anyway, thank you for watching. Links and citations have been left down in the description. As with all YouTube channels, Please feel free to leave a like, comment, share and subscribe. And until next time, have a good evening.